that time of the evening, a wrap-up of tonight's night meeting from Hollywood Bet's Grable Race Course. We kicked off with the first race where number one, Ocean Time, went on to beat numbers eight, seven and two. Let's take a look at number one, Ocean Time in action, breaking the ice runners. Ocean Time is the leader coming to the 200. Mr. Henley's on the outside. Question Master and then Vantage Point. John Dunbar's trying to warm up. Ocean Time still leads it. Mr. Henley. Question Master's on the inside. Ocean Time. Mr. Henley's trying to fight back. Question Master's on the inside but Ocean Time continues on. Ocean Time has won it. Second will go. It's very close. Moving along to race number two, we had an odds-on favourite called Totally Rocks. Unfortunately, didn't have the clearest of passages, but watch this blanket finish. Number three, Pantia for the Daryl Moore outfit, a small stable, comes through along the inside in an absolute cliffhanger. Room on the outside of that one is Vision of Will, and towards the outside, Guest Gatorex totally rocks is in big trouble at this stage. And it's a Dino who passes the 200 meter. Sea of Tears, Pantia run again on the outside. Guest Gatorex getting into the race. Pantia on the inside, run again. Sea of Tears, they're coming from everywhere. I think Pantia won it. Close. Next up, we'd see race number three, where number one, Metallic Gold, would rise to the occasion and take home the gold after the rest and gelding. Watch number one, Metallic Gold in action. And number nine, American Dream, looking to chase home. But Metallic Gold, let's see the footage. American Dream, Metallic Gold's trying to put on the pressure. Pucky Marley's towards the outside. Arabian Wiley's further back in the run. American Dream down the inside, Metallic Gold, Parmenian running on Pake Mali, but it's Metallic Gold, the leader, American Dream, Pake Mali, trying to fight back, Metallic Gold though is going on to win it, Metallic Gold won it, American Dream then Pake very good victory for Metallic Gold. And then we move on to another maiden where number five, Red Soul, would bring his A game to the race course. And he really just blasted away from the opposition. Keep an eye on this horse in the future. He is a bleeder, but when he comes back to the track, he could follow up. Red Soul becomes the danger on the inside and Red Soul comes into the lead. Death blow in the summertime. Another day in Africa's in trouble. But it's Red Soul past the 200. Clean slate on the inside. In the summertime on the outside. But Red Soul is home. And Red Soul to win it lonely by about four lanes. Second in the summertime. Third place will go to... Moving on to the second half of the program, the first four races done and dusted. We moved into race number five over 2,400 metres and the Spiss stable was in town. And watch number eight, Imperial Ruby, lead them a merry dance. And as they say, the rest is history. And Rex Union gets hooked out to the middle, got about two or three to make up. Imperial Ruby still leads it, decorated on the inside. Rex Union's trying to close it up on the outside. Imperial Ruby's hanging tough. Rex Union down the inside, decorated. Imperial Ruby still goes from decorated and on the outside, Rex Union, but Imperial Ruby won it. Decorated second. Next up was race number six, the World Sports Betting Scarlet Lady, listed over 1,800 metres. And the distance specialist, number seven, Lyrical Dawn, she'd make it three from three over the 1,800, and she led them a merry dance. Sulas. Lyrical Dance still goes. Jacqueline on the inside. And then comes only the Brave. Towards the outside, twice the quality. Keep on dancing. Glory Days on the inside. Lyrical Dance still leads it. On the outside of that one is Keep on Dancing. Down the inside, Jacqueline. But Lyrical Dance still goes. And Lyrical Dance has won it. Jacqueline second, Princess Anna. That'll take us on to the penultimate race of the evening, which was race number seven. And this was over 1,800 meters. And yeah, you'd see number one, Mount Anderson, really weave through and win a top, top contest. Outside and then comes Native Tongue and Mount Anderson comes to Origami down the inside. Native Tongue Tristful's on the outside, but Mount Anderson sweeps into the lead the last hundred. And that's Mount Anderson for the victory. Second will go to Origami, third place to Native Tongue. 
Getting on to the lucky last, we'd see the Dennis Dreyer outfit settle the first two past the post where Diamond Girl number six would shine brightly. Watch Diamond Girl switch out and absolutely erupt into action. The last 300 and Princess T still leads it. Ancient Epic Maiden's Prayer. Princess Donnelly's on the outside and Diamond Girl's also trying to get into this race. Coming to the last 100, Diamond Girl now comes forward and it's Diamond Girl going on to win it. Diamond Girl has won it. Second place will go to Maiden's Prayer. Well, that's a wrap our eight race program at Hollywood Bets Gravel, the night race meeting. Top, top action was seen to good effect and hopefully you were in the winner's queue. Be safe and we'll catch you soon.